close your eyes and watch your breath. Start with a couple of good long deep in and out breaths to emphasize the sensation of the breathing. And if deep, long feels good, then keep it up. If not, you can change. One of the basic principles of concentration is you've got to find an object that you like. Otherwise, the mind is not going to stay there very steadily. You'll be always looking for a chance to slip away, like a child. If you don't give the child love, and no matter how much you lock the windows and lock the doors, it's going to find a way to get out of the house. So you give the child something to play with. You play with the breath in the body, you play with the earth, water, wind, fire in the body. All the different sensations you got in the body. How can you breathe in a way that brings everything together so it feels good? Everything is coordinated, everything is getting along. Not too cold, not too hot. If you're feeling cold from the weather outside, okay, think of warmth inside your body. There are spots in the body that are warmer than others. Focus there and get that breath warmed there and think of it spreading through the body. This way you create a place where the mind really does want to stay, and it's happy to stay here. That gives a lot more stability to your concentration. That factor of evaluation that the Buddha puts is one of the factors of the first jhana. Some people say, well, it's just a sign that your mind hasn't really settled down. Well, before it can settle down, it's got work to do. You've got to adjust things so your mind is just right with the breath, the breath is just right with the mind. The body, breath, mind, they're all getting together. All getting along. So you might want to question the perceptions you have in your mind as well. Is there any perception that makes it harder to breathe? Think of the body wanting to breathe, and think of the breath wanting to come in, and that can come in from any direction. And see how that changes things. This way, you learn how to use these perceptions and thought constructs, things that normally create a lot of suffering for ourselves, use them in a way that gives rise to a sense of well-being inside. We've got these potentials, things in our body, things in our mind that are already there. It's just we don't know how to take good advantage of them. So learn to get to know them and learn how to put them together, play with them for a while. There you get a sense, okay, the mind fits with the body, the body fits with the mind, the breath is a nice medium between the two. And this way your mind is solid, doesn't feel threatened by anything, and is willing to look at things with a lot more balance, both inside and out. 